Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and today I want to tell you a little bit about using arguments, uh, keywords, argument lists and keyword dictionaries in Python. So basically I want to tell you all about uh, how you can pass arguments to uh, functions. Now I made a very, to demonstrate I made a very simple function here, move, uh, that takes four arguments, an x coordinate, a y coordinate, right, so the starting position, a direction in which we're going to move up, down, left or right, and a distance, so the, the, the amount, the number of units by which we're going to move. And the logic of the function is very simple. We say, just check if the direction is up, then we increase the y coordinate by the distance. If the direction is down, we decrease the y coordinate. If the direction is left, we decrease the x coordinate. If the direction is right, we increase the x coordinate. And if the direction is anything else, we raise an exception to indicate that the direction was invalid, right? So we're going to be safe. We check if our uh, coordinates or if the directions uh, uh, are sensible and then we return a new x and a y coordinate. Now so how do we use this function? Well first we define our starting point x and y, we just start at 0, 0, we print it out just so that we see what we're doing and then we say okay we're going to move our x and our y coordinate, we're going to move up by one unit and then the return value we store again as x comma y and we print out the new position. So if I select all of this and I run it you will see in the debug window that we've moved from 0, 0 to 0, 0,1, right? So we've increased the y coordinate by uh, by 1, which is exactly what we do want to do if we move up. Now, so what does this tell us about the arguments? Well, the point here is that these arguments, they are passed by order, right? So this x maps onto this x because uh, they are the first. Uh, then the y maps onto the y because it's the second. Up maps onto direction because it's... Uh, uh, the third and distance maps onto one because they're the fourth, right? So they are arguments that are passed by order. Now you are allowed also to refer to arguments by their name. So we can say, for example, distance is one and direction is up. That's fine. What's kind of cool is that once we start referring to them by name, uh, we can also swap their order. So we can say distance is one and direction is up. If I select this and I run it, you will see that it still works, right? So even though we violated the order because we've passed distance before the direction, whereas direction has been specified before distance in the function, Python still figures out which argument belongs to which, to what, because we've, we've actually called to refer to them by their name. Now, we're not allowed to do just anything. For example, all the arguments that we don't refer to by, na by name, x and y, need to come before all the arguments that we do refer to by name, so distance and direction. So if we start to mix this up, if we say, for example, x distance is 1 and y, you see that it gives a syntax error and it says, okay, you're not allowed to do that. Once we start referring to it by name again, then it's, everything's fine, right? So if, we, if we do this, the syntax error is gone. Okay, so these are our arguments. Now, um, let's say that uh, distance, especially in this case, is usually one, right? Usually we want to move by one. So what we can do is we can specify default value for distance, distance is one. Uh, and once we've done that, we call it a keyword. So the difference between what people tend to call arguments and keywords in Python is that keywords have a default value. Sometimes people also talk about uh, default and non-default uh, arguments, but I would prefer the term argument and keyword. So distance is a keyword here, and x and y and direction are just arguments. Now, the main advantage of uh, providing it, of using keywords, providing a, providing a default value, is that you can omit that argument when you call the function, right? So this is redundant, distance is one, because we've already specified one as the default value here, right? So we can just remove it. Uh, up, and then I call it and then uh, it will know, Python will know that we want to move by one because we've specified that as a default value. Now and then only if we want to say for example direction is two or sorry distance is two because we want to move by two units we can specify it, override the default value and now we move by two units. Right so that's how uh, keywords work. Now and just as, uh, as you need to, just as here when you call the function, also when you define a function all the arguments, so the, the arguments without the default value, have to come before all the arguments with default value. Right, so if we were to move distance to here, to this place, 
we would get a syntax error. That's not allowed because now we have argument, argument, keyword, and then argument. Right? So all the arguments need to come first and then all the keywords. So this is fine again. Okay, well, that's basically all there is to say about uh, arguments and keywords. Now, let's move on to a slightly, uh, slightly more exotic and complicated uh, way of using arguments, namely through argument lists. Now, and to do that, I will define a new function, which I've called move more. And move more just moves more. It makes moves by multiple steps. Right, so here we have it. So what move more does is first it takes x and a y coordinate, so starting position, and then it takes a list list of directions. Right, so we can move, for example, up, left, up, left, say. And then what the function does is it loops through all the directions, and then for each direction it makes one move, and then it returns the uh, the, the final position. So if we want to call move more, and we can do it like this, we say okay, move more x and a y coordinate. And then we say, okay, we give a list of directions. So we can start, for example, let's say just we're going to move by two steps up and right. Okay, so we move by two steps. So X would go map onto this, Y would map onto this, and this whole list, up and right, would map onto directions. Now, if I select this and I run it, you see it does as we expect, right? So we've moved up by one. So the y coordinate has increased by one, and we've moved right, so the x coordinate has also increased by one. Now, uh, what would be kind of nice, right? You see that the way we've the way we call this fun this function is a little bit clunky because we have these square brackets. Now, what would be kind of nice is if we could simply do something like this, right? Uh, we could say, okay, x, y, up, and right. Now. Uh, the problem here is that we don't know, right? We want to make the function move more fle very flexible so that it can take an arbitrary number of moves. And now, basically, the way we've done it now, you would think that we need to find define first direction one and direction two, etc. Right? So we would we would need to make a move two function, a move three function, etc. And that's actually where argument lists come in. Because what we can do is we can do the following: we can start with an asterisk. And then we can say directions. And what this means is that basically the x still maps onto the x, the y maps onto the y, and all the arguments that follow and that don't really map onto anything are stored in a list called directions, in an argument list. And that's specified by this single asterisk. Right, so, and then we can again walk through this list and move, uh, make, well, do as before, right? Move, make one move for every direction. So if I select this and I run it, you will see that it works. It just does, the, does exactly the same thing as before, it moves to 1.1. But now we don't need to explicitly say that this, these two items are a list. We just pass them as normal arguments. And because we have an argument list here in the, in the function, Python automatically captures essentially the up and the right into a single list called directions. That's the logic behind an argument list. It can be kind of convenient. Okay, now you also see that um, the move more function is a little bit more restricted than the move function because it doesn't accept a distance keyword, right? Whereas the move function does accept the distance keyword. So what can we do? We can say, okay, distance is one. And uh, okay, and then we, oh, we say distance is one. Oh, sorry, distance is distance. Right, so we essentially, we take this keyword argument and then we pass it on to, uh, to move, right? So if I select all of this and I run it, you will see it still works. I have to point out though, that this is only valid Python syntax in Python 3. In Python 2, you are not allowed to, uh, to put keywords or arguments after an argument list. So basically, uh, once you've done this, you're not allowed in Python 2 to put any keywords behind it. But in Python 3, you are. Right, so what we're working with here is Python 3. Now, uh, so that's kind of nice, right? Because now we can do something like this. We can say distance is two, we can select everything, run it, and you see we move to 2,2. So that's quite nice. Now we can make it even more fancy using a keyword dictionary. Uh, and that works as follows. So instead of specifying explicitly that we, we, want, we have a keyword distance, we say, okay, up, keyword arcs, for example, the keyword arcs is kind of the default name. 
uh, and we prefix it by two asterisks. So basically, if you prefix it by one asterisk, it becomes an argument list. If you prefix it by two asterisks, it becomes a keyword dictionary. Uh, and then what we can do is the following. Okay. So, and we can call it exactly in the same way as we're doing now. So if I select it, and this I should say is both valid in Python 2 and Python 3. So after an, keyword, after an argument list, you're allowed to put a, a keyword dictionary in Python 2 and 3, of course. Now, so what we're so what what happens here is essentially that all keywords, so in this case distance, just distance, are captured in this keyword in a dictionary called keyword args. And uh, without knowing what this dictionary even is, we just pass it blindly onto move. Right? So maybe to make it more clear, I can say, okay, let's print out keyword args. And you will see, if I select everything, you will see that this print statement corresponds to this. And you see that it's a dictionary with a key distance and a value two, right? So that comes from here. So this keyword argument is transformed into a distance. Now, and then we pass it again on to our move function, where it is, where it goes into here. And that's how, uh, that's how basically the distance is preserved. Uh, the distance keyword is preserved, even though we have not explicitly defined the distance keyword here in move more. So let's say that we we could also say, let's say that we for example pass keywords uh, that don't exist. So uh, uh, say invalid is uh, true, for example. If I select this and I run it, okay, move complains that it got an unexpected keyword argument called invalid, and this happens because invalid is a keyword argument that is here captured in this keyword dictionary. We pass this keyword dictionary onto uh, the move function, and that basically means the same thing as calling the move function with a keyword argument named invalid. Well, there is no keyword argument named invalid in the move function, so we get a get a type error. Right? It's not allowed. Um, now, the main advantage of using a keyword dictionary is if you have a function that calls another function, and it's basically it should pass on a lot of the a lot of argument keywords to this new function say for example that you're drawing a, that you have a function that draws a line and that and that function uh, takes a color for example a line color it takes a pen width uh, for how thick the line is it takes a line style maybe whether it should be dotted or dashed etc takes a whole bunch of keywords now and then you have a another function rect rectangle um, that simply draws four lines to create a rectangle now, then you then then a keyword dictionary is very uh, very convenient because you could basically the rectangle could simply capture all the keywords uh, in a keyword dictionary and pass them on to uh, to uh, to the line function, right? So uh, those kinds of, in those kinds of cases, uh, keyword dictionaries can be quite uh, can be quite convenient. Now, in general, what would be my recommendation when using uh, when using arguments, keywords, argument lists, and keyword dictionaries? Well, I would say that in general, keywords are really your friend. I think keywords are quite nice because they are named, right? So a keyword like distance here are quite nice to use because they have a name, which makes it uh, much easier to work with, right? We tend, people tend to mix up orders of arguments if they need to be passed by order. So uh, using keywords that have a name is, is generally uh, more leads to more bug-free code, I think. Um, so in many cases, I would say, prefer keywords over arguments without a name or arguments that are specified by order. Uh, and argument lists and keyword dictionaries, as you see here, can be quite convenient, but I would say use them only in very specific cases if you really know what you're doing, because they can also lead to kind of confusing, uh, confusing uh, code. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention.